When Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006, many assumed its story had ended there, a cold, forgotten remnant at the edge of our solar system. But in recent years, something astonishing happened. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced space observatory, turned its powerful infrared gaze toward this distant world, and what it uncovered has left scientists in awe. No longer just a frozen, inert ball of ice and rock, Pluto has revealed a world far more active and mysterious than anyone expected. These latest images and data from JWST are challenging everything we once believed about the distant edges of our solar system. Despite its small size, Pluto is an incredibly complex world. Its surface is covered in vast plains, towering mountains made of water ice and massive glaciers of nitrogen. One of the most striking features seen in previous missions like NASA's New Horizons is the heart-shaped region known as Tomba Regio. JWST, with its extraordinary sensitivity, revealed new details in this area. The telescope captured subtle thermal variations and previously unseen surface features, suggesting that Pluto might still be geologically active. This is a shocking revelation for a world so far from the Sun, where internal heat sources were assumed to be long dormant. Yet Pluto seems to defy expectations, hinting at a subsurface ocean or some internal mechanism that continues to shape its surface. The colors detected by JWST are particularly fascinating. Unlike the stark black and white images of early telescopic observations, the new views show Pluto's surface in rich, varied hues, some of which can't be fully explained yet. These colors may indicate the presence of complex organic molecules called tholines, formed when sunlight interacts with methane and nitrogen. Tholines are considered prebiotic, they don't constitute life but are key ingredients in its formation. The fact that Pluto has so many of these compounds spread across its surface raises intriguing questions about the chemistry occurring in this frozen world. Even more surprising is that some regions appear to be resurfaced relatively recently in geological time, which means Pluto isn't just an ancient artifact, it may be evolving. The presence of a tenuous atmosphere around Pluto had already fascinated astronomers during the New Horizons flyby. JWST observations have shown that this thin atmosphere, made primarily of nitrogen with traces of methane and carbon monoxide, is even more dynamic than previously thought. During certain parts of Pluto's orbit, its atmosphere appears to collapse, freezing out and settling on the surface. Yet new infrared readings suggest there may be localized atmospheric processes keeping some of these gases temporarily aloft even when the planet is at its most distant from the Sun. These findings have led researchers to rethink how atmospheres behave in the outer solar system, where temperatures plunge to extremes and solar energy is minimal. Pluto's moons add even more intrigue. Charon, the largest of Pluto's five known moons, has been a mystery for decades. It's so massive relative to Pluto that some astronomers consider the two bodies a double dwarf planet system. Joost's detailed imaging of Charon reveals an icy, cracked surface with striking variations in color and reflectivity. These patterns may point to cryovolcanism, volcanoes that erupt not with molten rock, but with water, ammonia, or methane ice. Cryovolcanic activity on Charon would suggest that even this distant moon might have once harbored subsurface oceans or internal heating, further expanding the possibilities for astrobiological research in the outer solar system. The idea that such remote bodies could have once been, or might still be, warm enough to support life, even in microbial form, has sparked a flurry of speculation and excitement. Pluto's smaller moons, Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra, were once considered mere space rocks, too small to matter. But JWST's precision instruments show that even these tiny satellites may have more complex surfaces than expected. Variations in their brightness and albedo suggest they might be covered in icy coatings that reflect sunlight in unusual ways. The chaotic orbits of these moons also hint at a violent past, perhaps involving collisions or gravitational tug-of-wars with other bodies that shape the current configuration of the Pluto system. Understanding these dynamics helps scientists build better models of how planetary systems evolve over billions of years. Beyond its detailed imagery, what makes JWST so powerful is its ability to detect subtle signatures in the light reflected or emitted by celestial bodies. 
When Pluto was observed, the telescope detected faint traces of methane ice, carbon monoxide, and possibly ethane, all of which are key molecules in planetary chemistry. But one unexpected finding was the detection of a mysterious absorption feature in the mid-infrared range, something that doesn't correspond neatly with any known surface compound. This could mean there's a yet undiscovered molecule present on Pluto's surface, perhaps something that forms under extreme cold and pressure conditions found nowhere else. Scientists are now running laboratory simulations on Earth to reproduce this signal, trying to figure out just what Pluto might be hiding beneath its icy crust. Another revelation from JWST is the way light scatters across Pluto's surface and atmosphere. The telescope has shown that Pluto's surface is more reflective in some areas than previously understood, which may indicate seasonal changes. On Earth, seasons are driven by the axial tilt and the Sun's proximity. On Pluto, the seasonal cycle is much longer and more extreme, taking 248 Earth years to complete one orbit around the Sun. Some areas that were in permanent shadow are now illuminated, allowing JWST to study them for the first time. As Pluto slowly progresses through its orbit, scientists are witnessing subtle but significant transformations, almost like a time-lapse of planetary behavior in slow motion. The excitement around these new findings isn't limited to Pluto. They have implications for other Kuiper Belt objects as well, icy worlds like Eris, Makemake, and Haumea which are similar in size and composition. If Pluto can be so dynamic and mysterious, what might these other distant objects be hiding? JWST is expected to observe many of these bodies in the coming years, and astronomers now realize they must be ready to rewrite their assumptions. The outer solar system, once thought to be a quiet graveyard of frozen leftovers from planet formation, may instead be a thriving archive of active and evolving worlds. This is revolutionizing our understanding of what it means to be a planet, a moon, or even a dwarf planet. Even the notion of what constitutes a habitable zone is evolving. Traditionally, scientists have searched for Earth-like conditions, warm temperatures, liquid water, and proximity to a stable star. But Pluto challenges these assumptions. If complex chemistry and possibly even subsurface oceans exist so far from the Sun, then life might be more adaptable than we ever imagined. It raises the possibility that habitability doesn't strictly depend on distance from a star, but on internal planetary processes, radioactive decay, tidal heating, chemical gradients, all of which could keep liquid water and life-sustaining environments stable far beyond the Goldilocks zone. The story of Pluto is far from over. In fact, it may just be beginning. What was once dismissed as a forgotten relic is now a symbol of how much we still have to learn. The James Webb Space Telescope has shown us that even the smallest, most distant bodies in our solar system are worth studying, not just for what they are, but for the secrets they hold about our cosmic history. Every new image, every new data set peels back another layer of mystery. And in doing so, Pluto has gone from planetary outcast to scientific superstar. It reminds us that the universe is full of surprises, and that sometimes, the smallest worlds can tell the biggest stories.